So this video has been put together to show you how to use the form area um, to model uh, a cast such as the one in the screen here. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is to create a new design. Uh, so as a reminder, you've got your viewing cube uh, to roll around your work plane or your model. Uh, and if you hold down the wheel on your mouse and drag, you can pan around your screen as well. So the first thing that you do this time is you go onto insert and you choose canvas. This will allow you to insert a picture that you've uh, saved on your computer of an arm. And you can open the file and decide which work plane you're going to work on. Now the arm will be added to the work plane here and you press OK. And you'll notice that it's coming quite small depending on the size of the picture file. Um, but in your browser, you can open up the drop down box on the canvases and you can access the arm photo. So if you wanted to turn the view off later, you can by clicking on the eye symbol or turn it back on like so. Now, if you right click on the arm and go to calibrate, you can choose two points in which you want to add a measurement. So I'm going to go for the elbow to the wrist. And at the moment, it's 7.825 millimeters. But if you measure your arm, uh, you can enter the correct measurement. So I'm going to go for 270 millimeters and press enter. Okay, now obviously it's resized the image, so you will have to zoom out. And now you can turn your viewing cube to see the arm. Uh, the next job is to go into the form area, so create form. Um, you can see the shortcut for it up here, the purple box. This will allow you to bring in um, models uh, or free bodies uh, which basically have a grid around them so that you're able to select the lines or the uh, intersections and, and manipulate the body. Now you have a choice um, which ones to use and I'm going to go for a cylinder and I'm going to choose the work plane that is running along the length of the arm. I'm going to tilt the work plane slightly and I'm going to click and drag a cylinder and press enter and you'll see that the cylinder is created now. At this point you can move around your uh, viewing cube and you can reposition your work, uh, your, your cylinder uh, as you like it. So I'm happy with that one, I'm going to press OK. Uh, now just a little bit about um, the edit form area. You have these surfaces, you have these uh, lines or edges, and you have these intersections here. So if you click on one, it will select one. But if you double click on one, it will select all, all of that row, um, all of that ring, all of the faces. Okay, or you can do multiple selections by holding shift. Now the main area when you're working on this project is to the edit form area. So if I double click on the outer ring here, I can right click and edit form. Now we keep this open while we're doing the majority of the shaping. So you can drag the arrow to go directly up uh, or across. Or you can use the square here and have a bit more freedom. So I can map along the shape uh, of the arm. Now the only thing you'll notice is that it's stretching the surfaces uh, for where we have selected. So if you hold the Alt key and drag the box, it creates a new set of surfaces. So if you let go of it every so often, you can then hold Alt again and click and drag the squares. Now you'll notice as well uh, that obviously we're losing one side of the arm. So we can select these points and drag across until we're happy with the shape. Now it's up to you how long you spend um, fitting the shape of the arm, obviously dependent on the photo and how accurate you want to be. Uh, you can also insert another image of an arm of the same length uh, just on a, a different work plane so that you can, uh, from the side, you can map the shape of the arm along the side as well. But just for the benefit of this exercise, I'm just going to do the one photo. 
So I'm going to go and zoom in and I'm going to focus on the part that goes up the arm. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag the cast a little bit further up the arm. And then I'm going to bring it across <clears throat> to meet the outside of the arm as well, or the hand. Now, as I said before, you can spend as long as you want tweaking the design. Okay, until you're happy. Uh, now, when we come to do the strap, uh, that's going to go around the uh, in between the thumb and the index finger. You just need to select one of the edges and hold Alt again. And if we flip the viewing cube over, we can try to uh, repeat the face and the bottom edge or bottom surface. Okay, so now we can see that the two are not connected. So I can hold Alt again, and this time you'll notice that as I've moved the viewing cube, uh, we get uh, sort of 3D options for the directions that we're going to go in. So I'm going to bring one down and bring this one up. And I'm going to change my view on the viewing cube so that I'm looking straight on, and I'm going to try to make these two lines um, close to parallel. Now when I'm happy I'm going to press OK and I've closed the edit form feature but obviously if I wanted to reopen it I could select an edge or a surface and right click and edit form again. Now to join these two or merge them you select one and you click on modify and merge edge and you will notice that the one that we selected is edge group one. And edge group two is going to be the one that is almost parallel. Press OK. So they've now joined together. And again, if we still need to um, edit the form, we can select this edge here, right click, edit form, and we can pull it out slightly, or we can turn the angle until we're happy. Okay, now when we are happy with the um, overall form of the sort of converted cylinder into a cast, we just click on finish form. Now the next stage would be to double click on our form, which you'll notice kind of looks paper thin at the moment. So we're going to click on create and we're going to click on thicken, which is down here. And that will allow us to add a thickness to uh, the body or the faces. So I'm just going to thicken this by one millimeter. If you decided that you it, it was better to do plus one so that it goes outside of the uh, shape of the arm uh, rather than inside. Okay, so now I have a 3D form to work with. Now if I want to reduce or take away some of the material, I can create a sketch on the base work plane and here I tend to use the fit point spline I try not to lock onto any of the lines that we see but I try and work inside the edges of the cast so I'll just draw at random a few shapes and again you can spend as long on this as you want to Okay, now when I'm happy with these drawings, if I do need to move any of them, I can use the select feature. I can click on the outline and I can press M to move. And that will allow me to move that particular drawing. Uh, and where I might use that is if I've gone slightly out of the edge. So I'm just going to cancel that one. Uh, what you will notice is that because I selected the base work plane, these are in the middle. Now you have an option here um, to extrude from where you are, so from the middle and, and cut through the top and through the bottom, or you can move the individual drawings 
so that they come just outside of the cast. Okay, so you can lift them up and keep playing around with your viewing cube until you're happy with where that particular drawing is. And then you can extrude them individually. Now for this one, I'm going to extrude them from where they are. So I'm going to tell the program that I've finished the sketch and I'm going to extrude and I'm going to select the surfaces of the shapes that we've drawn. Sometimes you need to tilt the viewing cube just so that you can definitely access the uh, face of the drawing. And when I've selected all of them, I'm going to go into the extrude command box and rather than uh, direction one side, I'm going to go for symmetric and I'm going to drag all the way through and um, make sure that it says cut and press OK. And that will remove some of the material of our cast. Now again, you can continue this process around the sides so that you've got um, lots of kind of individual cuts through the cast design.